it snuck up on me, so I missed it. Now I'm going back. But here it is. The Estes rocket manufacturing complex. And here's the classic building that was on the front of the catalogs, or at least the catalog I had. So they've got, I don't know, 10 acres maybe. Oh look, they're got they're making a they're making a faux rocket. Alright, man, I gotta pee. Let's take a look at this. So this is under construction apparently. That's pretty cool. So you got the launch stick and a rocket on it. What I don't see is a wire and a little igniter console and a kid. Those are the missing ingredients. Nice rock work. All right, time for some time for some stills. There it is the building that appeared on the front of the catalog. I think this is about the... That's about the shot. Cool. I'm not sure this is the ideal shot, but you can see the whole complex. It goes back there, they have... What looks like... They look like ammo bunkers. It makes sense, because the stuff is highly flammable. Let's take a quick look in the back. They've got a bunch of like ammo bunkers. Over there. So I guess they uh, store the explosive stuff away from their main building. I wonder where they do the blending. Probably back there in a separate building. There's kind of a larger building, building peeking out behind all the little ones. Maybe that's where they do the blending. This here just appears to be office space. Alright, I don't know how many hours I spent staring at the front of the Estes catalog when I was young. Now I've been there. Here. Come on, cars. I'm trying to get a shot of the front as I depart. There we go. Oh, drat. I was going to get some C65s. Oh, that's a much better angle on the uh, rear. Okay.